come in on the road and and pick up a win like that. What yeah. what did you see right away, or was it right away that your team was doing that allowed them to get that win? Well, you know, like we talked about beforehand, I just I love the rhythm of the week for us. You know, I really did. Um, we had you know we kept our kept playing in a rhythm, coming off a really meaningful game, so we knew what the intensity, the application was going to need to be. Um, and we were focused right from the get-go. I really liked what, you know, and, 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 and alternatively, they looked a little rusty, as you would expect when they're off for a week. So I think, um, and in many ways, like, while well, the game tightened up, uh, you know, that lead and the way we started is pretty much what won the game for us. So. Uh, Carl has 29 and 13 uh, after a, a tough Tuesday night. What enabled him to deliver this kind of performance tonight and when did you kind of sense that okay he's got it he's, yeah, he's got mean, it rolling again I mean he's a great player and that's what enabled him to deliver the performance I, w I wasn't worried at all there was a lot of things that you could cross your mind I was not worried about uh, Kat's ability to bounce back and perform at, you know uh, all NBA uh, level he's a franchise star um, you know there hadn't been many nights like he had Tuesday so it wasn't like it was some sort of pattern or anything like this um, and that's why you have a team, you know, other guys stepped up and, uh, but he came out with the mindset to, you know, to be super aggressive and, um, you know, you know, I love the way he really rebounded. That's what I really loved about how he patrolled the paint defensively. With Ant, how did you see him kind of command the, the defense out there with, with yeah. his playmaking tonight? Um, you know, Ant's in a, in a real great uh, groove right now. Everything he's doing is really de uh, definitive. He's, he's being sharp. He's getting into his stuff quick. Um, you know, he's making the right reads more, more often than not, and he's really, you know, really confident in his shot. Um, and especially in the fourth quarter, uh, some of the defense he played on Morant and yeah. then the corner three to, to kind of seal it. Uh, yeah. It seemed like he had a tough start, but anything you said to him as the game went on? Or? No, not at all. Just, uh, I mean, he, he, we just, uh, we loved what he was doing out there, even though he battled through some early foul trouble. Um, you know, we, you know, he just, you know we, we talk about it all the time. He just finds a way. He got the offensive stick back uh, at the end of the shot clock, which was huge. You got the corner three. He had the little flash to the elbow. Like, we need those filler points in our offense um, and he can he just finds them which is invaluable to us I feel like you guys are just a step quicker all night it seemed like many of the loose balls were yours yeah I mean uh, you know I think maybe that's again they, you know it's tough to sit for a week at this time of the season it just really is um, I'm sure uh, you know we'll, we'll see a different uh, Memphis uh, come whenever we play next I don't know when that is Tuesday I guess so yeah, yeah. <laughs> with that a lot of times we see young players get a first playoff experience and then come back the next season and have made another jump. But do you feel like Ant is maybe using this experience to take a jump right now? Um, I'm, you know, possibly. I mean, maybe he gets to take a jump next year too. I don't know. Um, but he just he's locked in, you know. And um, you know, sometimes his concentration goes in and out uh, or through the regular season. But he's, you know, we've always talked about his sense of the moment, his sense of timing, and his ability to raise his game. And, you know, maybe that's what we're seeing. Playoffs, I mean, making tough shots is so big, right? I yeah. mean, to, for his ability to create space and then make those tough yeah. shots is just a, a huge part of being able to get you guys over the hump in those stretches. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, you know, got the ability to rise up and just knock one down and he's in a good groove when he does that. I, I do like the fact that he's mixing in attacking and um, shooting as well and playmaking is, you know, is, is also good. He had six assists tonight. Um, He's playing a real complete game, and that's not even talking about the defense. I thought he was really good on, on Morant when he had the chances to be on him, too. Ja got into the paint like he always does against yeah. everyone. Did you guys want to just really kind of focus on making sure you limit his uh, options you know, to the perimeter and like well, contest? And I mean, not really. I mean, we wanted to keep him out of the paint way more than we did. Uh, you know, obviously went to the line far too many times. Uh, you know, he's a handful. Uh, you know they were they were getting there early in transition a lot of them particularly in the first half um, some we talked about at halftime and uh, you know we were able to kind of cut off a little bit of those so in half quarter it was a little bit uh, a little tougher for him. You know. Oftentimes against your defensive coverage when you bring Cat up, teams seem to go east west against that with the yeah. with the ball handler. It seemed like they were sending the screen on the inside to attack the middle there. Yeah. What did what did that present and and how were you able to Well, he was trying to split he's trying to split a lot of pick and rolls, you know, particularly early. Um, and he's very very good at it. Um, so we just had to be a little tighter on our coverages, you know, a little bit more locked in and then just kind of read, you know, read the ball handler, you know. Why not spraying everywhere? Do you think that helped you be able to rebound? 
Uh, probably a couple of silver hours. I mean, it's, you know, really rebounding with these guys is about just being able to hit first, you know, more than anything else. I mean, they just, they're so great on the glass and they're so, so physical and they come from everywhere in every position. So when your shot's falling, especially early, it's easy to say you have a sense of the moment, but it does seem like Ann is making the right decisions, shot or not shot, pass when to pass. Is this something that is a groove, do you think, or do you think this is just a growing maturity that is, you know, more durable than a groove? Um, I like to think it's a growing maturity. I've seen, he's seen a lot of looks all season long, you know, and think he's comfortable with a lot more things that he's seeing out there. Um, you know, he, and I think that a lot of it is just he's, he's just going quicker. He's just doing everything like he's not holding and he's not surveying as much. He's going, and, and that's a sign of, like, really trusting your own talent, you know. And yet he, he's fine dropping out of being like the dominant guy for four or five minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's... He's not capitalizing necessarily on being in a hot streak. Yeah, for sure. Like, you know, his ISO game dried up a little bit. We needed some action. We had to go away from him, and he was fine. He does... He's, 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 he's perfectly perfectly uh, fine with that. Um, you know, he it, he plays uh, so hard offensively a lot of times, you know, exerts a lot of energy, so it's tough to play like that every time with a ball in your hands. Plus, we got some other gifted offensive players we want to try to get the ball to, too. Talked about playoff gears and finding new ones and some teams knowing the playoffs are coming and then turning it up then. Like, yeah. Do you think Ant has maybe just switched on a different gear? Uh, you know, it's just, let's just see what he does over the long haul. You know, he's had two really good games. Um, you know, I know we'll be locked in. Um, you know, can't get bored. You know, can't get bored. So. Any other questions? Yeah, go ahead. Now, for Ant, was, uh, was attacking Adams on the drop something that you guys identified before the series? Uh, well, you know, we always want to be aggressive, whatever coverage you're in. We're always trying to try to get to the paint, get downhill as much as possible, compromise the defense. Um, and, uh, you know, we saw a lot of different looks out there. So just trying to figure out how to be most aggressive in all of those things was, was actually uh, key. And guys have did a good job of adjusting offensively through, through the course of the game.